Today we're going to go ahead and attempt to replace the steering bearings. I'm not even sure if I can do them. I looked in the book that I had, the manual, and there's no directions in there as far as how to remove all that stuff. Uh, I mean, there's some directions, but nothing about removing the bearings and the races and all that. So we're going to go in there, see if we can do it, and try to get those forks back on today. Not even sure if we'll get to that point, but let's get started on it. See how far we can get. All right, so first thing we want to do is I'm going to take this nut off with a 30 millimeter socket and a half inch ratchet. Wow. Dude, that is tight. Okay, time for the big guns. All those fails, get an impact. Okay, triple tree comes off. Wow, that is bad. Look at that, it just it like pops right into there. Alright, time to call in the big guns. Wow, that's tight. Don't forget to disconnect the horn so you can get this triple tree off of here. Okay. Now we can just take it all out. There you go. Now the issue here is I got to get these races out. There's one up here and there's one down at the bottom. I might be able to just bang them out with like a brass punch. All right, so I'm going to knock out the one on the bottom first. I'll try to. So I got the bottom one out. That was easy enough. That's funny. These races don't even look that bad. But they do have the indentations all the way around it. I think somebody over tightened this. Yep. That's what I think would happen. All right now we got to pop this one out. So we're going to do it from the underside. And hit it up. There you go. Can you see the uh, indentations in that? It's hard to see on this one, but this one, you can see. Looks like scratches. That's bad. Really bad. Okay, now that that's out, we're gonna go ahead and just hit this off with some brake clean. And I'm gonna take a rag and just wipe everything up. Get it good and clean. And clean this side too. Alright, the new race. I'm going to try and see if I can put it in there by just tapping it. Take a rag. Put a socket over that. Make sure it's on there, right? I don't have a socket big enough to fit this, so I'm hitting it on the edges as I go. I'm gonna make sure it's all the way in and it's bottomed out. Looks good. Now we gotta do the bottom one. Oops. 
Not good. It's much harder to do it like upside down like this. Again, you're going to get it in there until it bottoms out. And hopefully you don't scratch the race. So that looks good. All right, it's a slow process. But you can see the bearings coming off. Woo, about time. All right, so you can punch it out with a pin on both sides, or I should say a punch, and the bearing will eventually fall out. This is a, uh, it's a seal, or oh, it was a seal. I don't see no rubber on it. That's strange. It's supposed to be a seal like this. There's no rubber. So that's what the seal is supposed to look like. And this looks nothing like a seal. That's weird. I don't know what happened to the rubber for that. I'm gonna actually clean this up. This is the old bearing. We don't need this anymore. So, nice and clean. I don't want dirt or anything inside there. So that seal is going to go over the bearing like this and it's going to cover the bearing up just like that. The bearing, before we can put it on, you have to pack it with grease. Shouldn't take much grease, so what you do is you put grease on your hand, all right, use bearing grease. And you're going to take the bearing in one hand with your finger through it and you're going to push the grease into the bearing. So you're going to like... Go on top of the grease, push it down, and slide it until you get grease on the other side. This is old style packing. You see how the grease is coming out right there? I hope you can see it. That's what you're going to keep doing until it's all through the entire bearing. There you go, you got grease all inside there. So the bearing is now what they call packed with grease. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this bearing is now gonna have to be pressed on onto there. Which hopefully I'll be able to do. sure that seal is in the right spot all right so it's packed with grease it's pressed back in all right so this part's all set I don't know how I'm gonna take this out um, Pierce there's a couple of holes in here but this is not long enough and I don't know if it goes all the way through so I can hit the bearing it's not long enough and it's too big oh it's not long enough to go all the way through so that's not gonna work i think i'm gonna have to try old school and see if i can bang this out oh i don't know this is not gonna be i can get on this side but that's the only side i can get to mm. you know what i'm gonna heat this up first And then I'm going to try and uh, smack it out. Uh, same thing with this side here. There's no seal on this cover. It's weird. Man. Uh, I got to take this off. So I can heat it up.
All right, now that I got that as hot as I think I need to get it, we're gonna attempt to hit this down and off there. So what you're gonna do is, or what I'm doing, is I'm hitting it from this side as far as I can and this side. Now it kinda like gets it going out. And it's coming out really, really simple. Booyah! Woo! I can't believe I got that out. Let that cool down. I scuffed it up a little bit right there, but that's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt anything, actually. Let's clean this up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint this flat black. All right, I'm gonna pack the uh, other bearing. All right, so I took the triple tree, the bottom half, and I spray painted it flat black. Just give it a nice new look to it. Nothing fancy here. Also did the fender slash mud guard. Did that other plastic piece here. And I guess this is the mud guard. So that's all set. It's still, it looks shiny because it's still drying. I was able to get the races in, top one and bottom race. Got the bearing on the top section of the triple tree. So that's installed, pressed in, whatever you want to call it, ready to go. The only thing I got left to do is to put this bearing with the seal on the bottom half of the triple tree, which goes right here. That'll be for another day. Gotta let this stuff dry for a while before I even mess with it. So that's gonna be it for today. It's been a couple of hours in the garage, believe it or not. Um, I didn't show you the painting of the stuff because it's pretty simple. Clean the stuff up, sand what you have to sand, and then spray paint it. Nothing fancy, nothing exotic. Just trying to give it a nice uh, black, flat black look to uh, the black stuff on the bike. So next time we'll uh, probably go ahead and install that bearing on the lower half of the triple tree and try to get these forks back on. All right, you all take care, God bless, bye-bye.